alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bill Intentions! And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, Dynamo Briggs! All right, guys, remember this. Obey my commands at all times. Good, clean Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. A little defense turns to offense by Briggs. by a right hand and a smart counter punch by Briggs she's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head Well, nowadays, we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now, with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now all of a sudden they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Where with a little discipline, they would have fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't make it. Now you make it so easy, they don't want to make it. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Ten seconds to go in this round. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower just depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Misses his opponent's headshot. Move, move. Oh! That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Good block by bad intentions. He 
went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. This round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Blocked by bad intentions. Turn to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Able to counter that attack. Good scoring counter punch by Briggs. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Well placed counter punch by Briggs. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has, or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Some fine work right there by bad intentions. Targeted counter punch by bad intentions. with the jab. How about that? One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. All landing. Blocks the headshot. And a big left hand by Briggs. point of this third round. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by bad intentions. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And another jab. A little head hunting right back to it. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Briggs. Teddy, is it possible that he didn't respect this fighter coming into the fight? Now, I know a lot of people would say, yeah, he's ahead on the scorecards. But you can just see the style of fight that this is bad. He's being tested. Yeah, I think it's a combination of two things. This guy being better than his record would indicate, and what you touched on, that he's a human being like anybody else. We look at the guy's record, we think of what kind of fight it's going to be. He looked at it, he thought it was going to be a little easier than it's turning out.
Final 10 seconds. Locks that belt line well. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Well placed counter punch by Briggs. Riggs is quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in before he can get started. On the mark, the counter punch by Briggs. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. And he returns on that exchange. Round now with its last 10 seconds. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Able to dismiss that body shot. Not precise at all by Briggs. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Briggs is just being smart on the outside. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Halfway into round number five here. Yeah. 
Took a shot, now he gives a left. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Bad intentions is really disappointing us with his lack of work to the body. Yeah, it is. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Punch there. Keep working the body. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Nice block by bad intentions. Double up your punches. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. <laughs> by dynamite so swiftly able to turn defense into offense nice counter punch and what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs he gets caught Looks like he has some blood under his eye around the cheek. Right hand over the top. He counters back after denying his opponent's shot. Well, maybe one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing. We're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. Halfway through round six. And he returns on that exchange. Staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Briggs is being very efficient right here. I mean, he's just picking his shots. His accuracy is through the roof. Well, that's one of the talents, and you hope is a talent, of a top fighter, is his ability to pick his shots, to be calm enough to see the openings. He's seeing everything right now. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Watch the headshot. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Now that's some fine work right there by bad intentions. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Carries that punch away. Good 
blocked there by bad intentions. He just missed that shot up top. Well, he told us all week long, hey, I want to keep it on the outside. I don't care where he is. This fight's not going his way right now. No, it's not. And I don't care how long he is, how tall he is. But just look at his feet. When he throws punches, they're sliding forward. And that's why he's not keeping that advantage on the outside. Well-placed counterpunch by Briggs. Riggs is making for a very, very difficult night for his opponent. His opponent knew this was coming. He knew he was going to fight on the outside, but the jab is really doing damage. Well, his opponent knew this was coming. Why is he not blocking that jab or moving his head and getting away from it? There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. What a fight. What a great, great non-stop action fight this has been. He scored well after being hit himself. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Riggs is doing really well on the outside. Come to the end of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Well, it's a very closely contested fight, isn't it? Yeah, it has been, Joe, but it's going to be up now to the judges. Hopefully they have their eyes wide open because they're going to have to look really closely, not just at the action overall, but who's landed the cleaner, more effective punches. Nice block. Love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not going to move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope <laughs> that you wrap them real good because you're banging the nugget all night long. A crushing two punch combo by bad intentions. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A little defense turns to offense by Briggs. Briggs' strategy has been to control things on the outside. 
and the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense, it's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride, and it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Fires right back at him. has got to be feeling the sting of that big powerful hook and this round comes to an end it is a round that was highly entertaining these guys really put forth quite an effort well they both have high engines they have motors that never stop going accurate counter punch by Briggs but he sends it right back. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Briggs is in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't, like in football, go into that defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect... Oh, and there you go. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. I thought he was going to be knocked out just moments ago, but he has survived this. Well, he has a granite chin. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by bad intentions. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Able to show you his blocking ability. Very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Punch by Briggs. Now that's some fine work right there by Briggs. Punch after some fine defense by Briggs. Good 
blocked by Dynamite. Punched by bad intentions. Bad intentions is dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. Good defensive skill. of his own. The round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners. At least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete in this case the athlete happens to be over a thousand pounds and that's a horse you know at peak condition he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter know when the race is know when the fight is and not get used up out on the track or used up of course in the gym the headshot. Protecting his head well with his guard. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. by dynamite. End of the round 
here. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box you hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that champ working. They act like coaches sometimes. Just misses with that headshot. Good block there by Dynamite. Good block by Dynamite. Able to dismiss that body shot. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. to go in what has been a memorable round. Great stuff from these two. Good way to protect the midsection. Good block there by bad intentions. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. For the official judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the fights. A unanimous decision. Your winner, Dynamite Briggs. Briggs is your winner by a unanimous decision. Well, he started going to the body, and it paid off for him, and it paid off for us. A good, solid fight. It was indeed, and we're glad you were with us to witness it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.